Welcome in guys. Much love and today we're off on another adventure. We're gonna go backpack up Logic Canyon. We're gonna, so we're going for a two day trip because it's gonna be dad's birthday and he wanted to get out so he's able to convince mom to let him out of the house. Thank God. And so we're gonna go up, don't know exactly how many miles yet the first day and then second day we're just gonna go some more and then on Sunday we're just gonna head out and we're just gonna see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. See if we can find a Bigfoot or anything of that nature. But let's get into it. All right guys, so we're up the trail a little farther. We're exactly one mile in. We're at the rock, we're at the little creek, the little pool where the beavers swim and the fish play. I think that's where dad was conceived. Pretty neat spot. Um, I think we're, how far are we gonna go up today, dad? How far are we going today? Yeah. We'll see, maybe three, maybe further. Maybe three, maybe further, we'll find out. Either way, it's gonna be an adventure. It's wet outside, guys. There is a lot of rain. You know, a lot. There's a sprinkle, a very nice sprinkle coming down. I'm getting wet. The camera's getting wet. You can probably see the drops on the screen. A little wild. We just got to the bridge, which is about three miles in. I know Dad talked about staying here, or we might go up further. It just depends on how the weather turns out. Um, but we'll keep you up to date. This is a uh, something else. It just depends on how the weather turns out and how wet we get, but man, nature is awesome. Yeah, it's so awesome. This spot right here, the trees are blocking all the rain. Yeah, uh, so All right guys, so we decided we're just gonna stay near the bridge, the three something miles in, just due to it's about five o'clock, we don't want to go any farther and get drenched and then have to dry off and then have to set up camp and all that jazz. So we're going to set up camp here for day one, Friday, May 15th. It's going to be pretty, pretty exciting. Somebody built a beautiful little teepee for us. Colt is excited. I think we're going to spit roast them on it. We don't know yet, but either way, it's going to be a good time. Oh, it is. Very, very up. Oh, man. 
man, dude, look at that. All right, what's for dinner, Pop Scott? All right, we're having a creamy wild rice soup with mushrooms and hamburger in it. And lots of veggies. Lots of veggies, man. It's gonna be good stuff. So we're settling down for the evening. Dinner's about to be served up. Thanks to the man, the myth, the legend. If he does not drop it though, geez Louise, look at Colter hits it off too. The weather is continuing to rain and not rain and it's quite something else. Camp is set up, it is sprawled out. We're gonna eat some food, hang out, listen to some podcast, and enjoy the evening. But without further ado, that says it all. All right, so it is the end of the evening. We are in our new tent. It's a new tent. You've seen a tent like this before. When we went to, was it Big Creek Lake? Yep. When we went to Big Creek Lake, um, this is just one size bigger. We're all very, very snug in here. We've got Colter in the middle, Pops in the back over there, and it is tight. Um, we're, yeah, we're just off to bed. Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard tonight. It's cold, which is never a good thing. Let me tell you that right now. But what can you do besides wear warm clothes? Um, and yeah, hopefully there's no bears or anything. If not, we all know. Dad is well equipped to handle the bears. Bah, bah. He's, he's got the gack. He's got his little do rag on. He knows. He knows what's about to go down. <laughs> he's gonna rob the bank. It is. It, it's treacherous over here. Um, hopefully he doesn't mess us up up tonight. We we have talked about shooting Coulter tonight if he does vomit in the tent because that has it. that's been on the table. Not gonna happen. Coulter has had a little too much to drink, so <laughs> I've had just he, enough. Just enough, he says. We don't. We don't know. We're gonna find out. But be. we will see you in the morning if we make it. Wish us luck. We'll make it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're just getting ready for the day. I don't think it wants to be in frame. Um. So we woke up not too long ago. We had breakfast. And now we're just packing up the camp so we can head up the trail and go further up. There's a mysterious thudding. Um coming from that direction somewhere over there we don't really know what it is but dad keeps calling it out every time it happens currently we're just going to break up the camp and then get on the trail and see where that can take us um currently we're looking at either going to seven mile meadow and or nine mile meadow just depending on the conditions of the water and if it's flooded or anything of that nature so let's just go figure it out Wrong way? Wrong way. <laughs> And we found our first snow. And Coach just make a snowball. Which one, which one naturally does with snow? Which one naturally does with snow?
Yeah. Cool, what time is it? Uh, Choco time. Choco time o'clock? <laughs> Alright guys, so there is a mutiny occurring in our hiking group, and we'll let dad tell you about it. I'm sick of going from three foot snow to two foot swamp. My feet are cold. His feet are cold. Coulter, what are your thoughts? Eh, I mean, I could probably keep going, but I don't want to bushwhack forever. He's siding with dad on this one. It's a mutiny. They say it's democracy. I say bullshit. Two thirds. Two thirds majority my ass. All right. So it looks like we might be turning around because it is very, very wet where we're at. You can show both directions. Oh. Where we came from. Oh, you okay. can show them the deep snow. We came from that area with all that snow to all this water. And this is what we've been trekking through for the last mile. So what we kind of had in mind was... There's a thumping. Really? I just heard it. Okay, and there's that thumping that keeps persisting. So we might be in Bigfoot's home Ooh. and he might be angry. That's chilly. It is chilly. Um, But, so what... Where we wanted to go, Seven Mile Meadow, it like opens like up to this, like the chute, but, like an ambulance chute, and it would be very, very wet if this is if this trail is like this. This is can, normally dry. This is normally dry, and usually Seven Mile Meadow is a little wet when you go there, just because it's, it's literally on the creek that comes from the mountain. So that might be an issue. So we might just turn around and go from there. Let's find out. Maybe if that thumping kills us, we'll find that out too. It's a turning point, boys. It's a mutiny. I might have to. I might have to team up with Team Thumper and beat the bad words out of these guys. Yeah, Team Thumper. Let's just get the hell out of here. You shall not pass. Oh <laughs> shit! In the balls. I don't know how they did it in Lord of the Rings, cause that hurt. Oh, we could have made it easy. Even if it was snow like this, I'd power through it for the vlog. Found some more scat. This one's fresher than the stuff we were finding earlier. And yeah, but we think we could take whatever it is. Big kitty. Big kitty or something, dude. Kitties are afraid of water, so we always have water on us at all times. The backpack and stove's kind of cool looking. I think it's cool. All right, guys. So, the um, as you saw, the trail is way too flooded. So we walked back down. I think it was a mile and a half to this first waterfall, and there's a really pretty campsite that we're gonna be at. Currently, we're just making some lunch. We're gonna hang out, maybe explore a little more, set up camp, and just make shop here. We're only five miles up the entire trail, but still, it was a great hike. I think today we accomplished 4.6, so that's always awesome. And we're just gonna hang out up here, and it's pretty rad. Enough. It's ramen time. All right, guys, we just saw a vulture, bro. Just rip through that way. Man, that was cool. I'll get you. Yeah. So as you just saw from that most recent snippet of that tick. Um, we left that like upper area where we're at where we thought there were ticks and we found out they were just infested inside of Coulter. Coulter has acquired way more ticks now than that. He, it's poor Coulter, we feel bad for him. Uh, we found, I found, actually no, four. I found four. There's been more than four ticks. No, it's only been four. Down here or up there? I found two up there and two down here. Yeah, Coulter's infested with ticks. Um, and so... 
we were looking at our surroundings, realizing we're in, there's a lot of tick area, foliage for us. And then dad started tweaking about it, not wanting Coulter to sleep next to him because Coulter's full of ticks. And then dad's like, oh, there might be ticks everywhere. And I completely agree with. Um, and so we're deciding to cut the vlog short. We're gonna make our way back to back to home base. One, you know where we, you know where we live. Home base back there. And we're gonna we even just set up camp. We're gonna break down camp, head home, get tick free, get a, get these little buggers off of us, and end the vlog shortly, which is kind of a bummer, but just the way it goes. It's been a wonderful camping trip. Um, yeah, ticks kind of suck.